In this tutorial, I will be sharing how to give soft color tone effect to your photographs in Photoshop. So, let's get started. Go to file, open and select the image. Open this in Photoshop. So, this is our photographs. So as you can see the background is too much yellow and green. So I'm gonna change this out. Now click on this adjustment layer and select channel mixer. Here you can find three different channel red, green, blue. So select the blue channel. In this blue put the value 0 and the green 100%. Now close this. As you can see the color is completely changed into a cinematic color. So now our basic color correction is ready. Now press Ctrl Shift Alt E. Now you have a layer by merging all of this layer. Now select this layer and go to filter camera raw filter. So here is the basic correction. So I am gonna add little bit of contrast, not too much, around 10 is great and decrease the shadows. Around 50 and add little bit of clarity. Now that's good. Now switch to the effects. In here, in this post crop begin eating, decrease the amount what it does this make the outside of this image darken i think minus 50 is great and now i'm gonna add some grain to these photographs to to give a vintage feel of this portrait 30 is great now switch to the hsl and gray cycle and in hue i'm gonna and i'm gonna pop make the background little bit pop so decrease the aqua now as you can see the the model the her face is too much dark so i'm gonna add little bit of brightness so switch to the luminance and switch to the right red as you can see the model face her skin color are getting a lighten that's okay now at the final switch to the tone curve make a dot here and here now bring up this slider to make a faded effect to the shadows as you can see not too much i think that should good enough and increase this to increase the mid tone brighten i think all is great now hit on ok so this is our final output now hold on alt and see the before and after so this is before and too much yellow and green and this is after so that's all i hope that you would enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you